Oh, wee! The Valorant trash talk does continue. Hello, folks. As per usual, hope you guys are all doing well. What you up to on this fine dandy day, huh? Welcome back to more Valorant trash talk and a lot of actually paired up stories which are super interesting for the future of this rising esport. In case you guys missed it, NA First Strike, the closed qualifier was this past weekend, and the trash talk, it did continue, not only for TSM and Sentinels. In case you guys have missed this, this really stemming back from the beginning of time when the Valorant teams were actually solidified for these two organizations. Uh, last time we talked about Wardell and Shazam, it was actually Wardell calling Shazam a rat, and then Shazam digging up a tweet where Wardell called Shazam dad, and then Wardell wanted to box it out. This time around, it was mostly actually Sentinel's social media manager, but it did kind of stem firstly from NRG and their coach, that being Chet, talking about just how big these Valorant egos already are, and I'll tell you guys right now, I am completely biased because I love making these videos. I, for one, am a fan of this banter and trash talk. As long as it doesn't go too far, I think a lot of these guys know they're joking. What, what do you guys think, though? As Chet did state, Valorant egos are so crazy that the social media guys have them as well for some reason. To which Shazam did respond because Chet was actually talking about the Sentinel's social media manager. And Shazam then goes, bro, if you can't handle a social media guy doing his job, then either win your games or get off Twitter. To which Chet goes, no one said people couldn't handle it, just he isn't on the server and he is the one adding fuel to the fire consistently. And then Shaz simply says, nah, some people definitely can't handle it. LMAO. And hey, when it comes to that, I, I think both those guys certainly do make some valid arguments, right? Do you take these social media managers very seriously? And yes, they are doing their jobs. And hey, we're talking about Sentinels, so I would say their social media manager is probably doing his job. Vice versa, though, you are a social media manager, so I can understand why pro players and coaches would maybe get pissed off by that kind of talk. Now, some talk out there put out, but I would say, in my opinion, probably the, big, the biggest personality Valorant has made so far, that's going to be my boy Wardell for TSM actually posting an Instagram story that really sparked a lot of this calling 100 thieves 100 noobs ironically before losing 200 thieves but it didn't last long for sentinels who also partook in that trash talk of TSM because then 100 thieves beat them as well so I really do enjoy North American trash talk guys and North American Valorant because it's just a swing and a slew of back and forths and upsets just to give you guys one particular reason why we should not take any of this seriously so far even results wise these guys are, are bantering right they're having some trash talk it's a fun time for us think about this Renegades has now qualified for the main event for North America first strike remember back at their own event for NSG Ninja's team time in took down Renegades. So that's why I'm not taking any of this too seriously, okay? None of it's too heated yet. But if it gets heated, I'll be here. And then, of course, in typical TSM fashion, Wardell did this last time. It's actually misstepping in, aka Coach Myth, to ratio Sentinels, which, hey, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty, that's, that's pretty banging. Yeah, I mean, yes, you lose the matchups, but still, when it comes to out-ratioing someone, apparently that does hold some weight around there as well. Now, speaking of an out-ratio, and if you guys are Counter-Strike fans, I understand a lot of you might not even understand this story in the slightest. I will try and give you a TLDR, but I encourage you to check it out on some previous videos that we have done. That being Cloud9, social media manager, trying the joke and jinx of Envy. Congrats to Envy, by the way, looking absolutely nutty and very dominant at Valorant so far. It was actually them trying to joke and jinx the series as they did with the presidential election and Cloud9 was certainly given some flack for even being involved in politics there. It was FNS who plays for Envy responding, calling cloud Nine social media manager a clown to which Portillo, the cloud Nine social media manager does reply with the infamous prove it or I'm going to give you guys a very, very quick DLDR, okay? And I, I'm probably going to miss a few key details here and there. Portillo, the Cloud9 social media manager, was formerly of Immortals back in the day when Immortals had KNG, a Counter-Strike pro who issued a death threat by saying, prove it or I'll kill you, to FNS. Now Portillo, that former Immortals social media manager who actually joked about that same instance on Immortals, was fired from their social media team, then joined Cloud9, is now saying it again in a different esport to FNS, who is now also on a different esports team playing a different esport. Did I do a good job of that? If you guys understand just how mind-boggling this is for me to cover that initial story years and years ago, and now this... It's, that was one of the best things I have seen all weekend long, and I hope you guys 
can can understand where I'm coming from. Either way, very lastly as well, someone who we are seeing put the time in. Ironically so, we mentioned him very briefly. That being Ninja also reached Radiant this past weekend. His team has been doing progressively better, I think, by a lot of eyes out there. They are a competitive team. I would not say a top-tier team, but much more competitive than they once were. Ninja has proven if he puts his time and his effort into an eSport in a video game, he can be one of the best and very competitive at that game. So, hey, we give him flack here and there. But, I mean, god dang, that's impressive for him to finally reach Radiant. We will see what him and his roster keep on doing in the future of Valorant. Man, that was a... Uh that was a heater of an episode. I really do enjoy talking about this stuff. Thank you all for watching as per usual. What do you think about this? Uh, TSM, Sentinels, 100T, Envy, Valorant, Trash Talk does continue. Along with that, Cloud9 pulling a prove it or all, prove it or all, dot, 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 and Ninja Reach and Radiant continuing to put the time in. Until next time, you guys know what to do, all right? Take a sip for me. I'll see you back here sometime soon. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.